Hello, and welcome to the den. My name is Eric, and it's Friday. <laughs> So this week on The Den, it's Q&A week, and I've got a list of questions, and I'm going to be going through them with y'all right now. The first question that we have is, my boyfriend wants to be engaged before we live together. What are your thoughts? How long do you think you should date before thinking about proposing? Those are two totally different things, dude. Two completely and totally different things. Living together... You don't need to have any kind of relationship to live together with people. You can, like, put an ad on Craigslist and get a roommate. It's not a really hard choice to make. Personally, this is my, my opinion. If you want to live together with somebody, if you're thinking about being in a long-term relationship with somebody, you probably should live with them for a little while, at least to know that you kind of want to be there. You know, they say that if you are interested in being with somebody long-term, Go on a week-long camping trip with them, because in a week, you really get to know somebody, especially when you're out there with next to nothing and trying to make it just work. That's really when everything really kind of falls out on the table. So, try living together. See how that works. What is your favorite season and why? My favorite season is autumn. And it's because of all of these gorgeous, deep, rich colors. And I love these kind of darker red colors. And that's my favorite kind of thing to see, like dark red maple uh, leaves, you know, just as they've turned. Uh, so autumn. And also because it's a lot cooler, but it's not cool going into hot. It's hot going into cool, which is refreshing. And so autumn is my favorite season. Who is your number one celebrity crush? I don't really crush on a lot of people, but we've been watching a lot of stuff with Tyler Labine lately, and he was in a dream I had the other night, so I'm just going to say Tyler Labine for now. Do you think body hair is a turn-on or a turn-off? And also, is there one body part that needs to be shaved or waxed, and where, and what would it be? So this is obviously like super personal and super subjective. Um, I personally am not, you know, I'm kind of indifferent about body hair. Like, I like it, but it's not a requirement. I've been with a lot of smooth guys. My husband is a smooth guy. Most of the chub guys that I kind of have fun times with are smooth guys. So I'm not super, like, I'm not super picky in that way. But I will say that if you are going to be grooming, groom your pubes, because that's super important, because it gets really problematic, uh, at least for me, and I'm sure there are plenty of other guys out there, when uh, things get to snagging in the remnants of your foreskin, it really fucking sucks. And so, yes, pubes. There you go. What is your biggest guilty pleasure? I am an addict of frozen yogurt, and I go to the frozen yogurt place secretly. Um, sometimes not so secretly, when I Instagram my crazy-ass froyo concoctions. And I always pay an exorbitant amount of money because I have the overflowingest cup of frozen yogurt that I could possibly make. Since you are an implant to DC, what is your favorite part of it? The location or just in general? So my favorite thing in DC, even though I don't go there that often, is the Arboretum. It's a, an amazing, beautiful, and tranquil place. Um, Arboretums, for those who don't know what they are, are big tree uh, sanctuaries and parks. And the Arboretum in DC is super cool. They have this amazing little bonsai garden. And there are also these... Um, architectural features that are just like really a unique and unusual and they have like koi ponds and stuff it's so it has a lot of Japanese flavor to it but it's uniquely American and uh, it's just a wonderful calm place to be and in DC where things can get super hectic having an extremely calm place to go is good what is your favorite memory of the upcoming holiday season 
So my favorite memory of winter, we'll say winter, because the holidays I can take them or leave them, but um, I had this one really awesome experience where um, I had gone up to New York City and, when I, and there was a big snowstorm. And when we came back from New York, when I came back from New York, um, here in DC there had been like three feet of snow and they had just shoveled it all onto the sidewalks <laughs> and plowed it up into these giant heaping mounds. But they were like huge, enormous mounds of snow and ice. And I basically just started walking up on top of these giant heaps of snow, like Legolas from The Lord of the Rings, and it was super awesome. I had a great time. What is your favorite horror movie? The Wicker Man. Uh, this is the 1970s Wicker Man with Christopher Lee, um, and it is super exciting, and I absolutely love this movie. It's creepy, it's pagan, it's got human sacrifice, and sex magic, and it's awesome. I don't think there's anything I don't like about this movie. The music is great, the, the scenery is amazing, the storyline is really good, and the ending is, is, is a scene of legend. So, yes, watch the classic Wicker Man, not the remake, not that episode of Supernatural. Watch Christopher Lee in The Wicker Man. What do you use when you don't feel so fresh? What is your goal in life? I don't really have a goal in life. That's sad. It's not sad. I mean, like, what are you supposed to do with a life? You know? Sometimes I think, well, maybe I want to be famous. You know? Like, I'll just quit my job and become a YouTube celebritant. You know? Like, just fuck off and be a lady of leisure. And then there are some days I want to kind of, like, hole up in the woods and not talk to anyone ever again and be, like, a hermit. You know, both of those are appealing to me in their own crazy and unique ways. So, I don't really know what I want to do with my life. Life choices are one of those things, like, I'm kind of in a weird space right now. Midlife crisis is coming up. But it's, most people get a Corvette. Most people get a Corvette. Some people want to run away and live in the woods. I've always kind of wanted to run away and live in the woods. I fell in love with Thoreau at too young and impressionable age. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with my life anymore. I feel like what I do right now is fun. And maybe I'll keep doing more of that. Maybe I'll do something else. I don't know. So right now, I'm just... I'm just going with the flow right now. So we'll see. Maybe I'll have a goal in life in a few months. Or a year. Who knows? So that's it. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can watch us on Men of the Den uh, every day of the week, almost, <laughs> except for Saturdays, sometimes Saturdays, six days a week and sometimes Saturdays. And uh, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and all of those amazing fun things, and at menoftheden.com. And uh, you'll see all of that scroll past you in the final closing credits. So thank you. My name is Eric. Cheers. <laughs> Forgot what I always say.